Hi, thanks for clicking into my video. I'm Casey and I'm here to show you a festival look because even though I'm old, I really still like going to music festivals a lot. I have so much fun there. I like the easygoing vibe where everybody's just trying to have like a good time and listen to music and people are way more laid back than in everyday life. I like that. So today I'm doing a collaboration with Ash from Fatally Flawed Ash. So make sure and check out their video also. And I can't wait to see what they do. I was gonna put back my hair and then I thought I'll just start with it. And this is a great time to do it because I haven't shampooed in like four days. And guess what happens at music festivals? There's not a lot of bathing and shampooing of your hair going on. People are kind of messy there and that's okay. Um, a lot of us are camping and we've been there for two or three or four days. So I, th I thought it'd be a great time so just go ahead and show you one really easy thing I do with my hair also. So sometimes I will just wear a fun wig. However, usually the festivals are outside in the summer and it's hot and the wig is even more hot. So sometimes you just want to put it up and I will just split my hair in half with pigtails because it gets it up off my neck and it's nice and easy. And then there's all kinds of ways to do these, but I usually just, you know, do it like I'm going to do a pony, but then the second one, I don't take all the way through and just re-loop that again and push this in. And then even with that loop, sometimes you can like take some of it and leave it under there and then you just spread it out. <laughs> and then it's okay too, if it's too big like this at the beginning, because if your hair is anything like mine, it'll start falling. But if you don't want to do that, then you just take pieces of it and you take a bobby pin and you pin it down. Or if you want the other one bigger, you take your bobby pin and you floof it up and then you pin it up higher. Don't use your um, teeth to open your bobby pins, it's terrible. And then you could put on cute little cat ears or some other kind of cute little headband or some kind of cute little barrettes like these that have little flowers and sticks that kind of look like deer antlers. So since I needed my hair up anyway to do the makeup, I thought, let's just start with the hair. Some days I think it's fun to go all out and do, you know, bright rainbow colors and do rhinestones with eyelash glue. Um, I've done little ones you know, underneath that come out or they make prepackaged ones that are pretty and designed. You can buy these just from Amazon or Shein or Wish. This one is being shown on your chest, but you could definitely put it on your face if you wanted or depending on your outfit. Um, some are just more like tattooed looking. But this one I picked up around Halloween time at the Dollar Tree that came in a child's one, but I think that it looks cute too. And some of them I've already used and put back into Ziplocs thinking the sticky stuff is probably off of them. But if I'm going to use eyelash glue on them anyway, I think it would, I think they would save. Um, there's also just like these little crystals that, you know, I can just dot on. So there's all of these options. There's also crystals that have shapes in them, like the butterflies or the roses. And there's even like metallic tattoos that you can add. And I don't have anything in mind exactly today because I usually don't. <laughs> so we're going to wing it like we normally do. Maybe because I'm old, I personally think it's fun to be able to get dressed up for these festivals and wear things that I wouldn't normally get to on a regular occasion. I think it's worth the effort to look adorable when you go out there. For me, because most of the girls there are half my age, <laughs> literally, um, I still feel happy and cute when I have some cute accessories and things on. So I will prime my eyes and then come back to think about a fun makeup look. I don't want to spend a lot of time talking about what palettes I'm going to use and things because I think you can make these fun looks with so many different ones. The, I used to keep 
a whole set of different makeup with mostly glitters and ultraviolet neon shadows and things like that just in our camper um, because the festivals was kind of the only time that I really played with those. Um, and they were all very inexpensive makeup from Wish or Amazon even, you know, kind of things. So I don't think that part's going to be that important. I may, like, I thought um, that I would probably use my new Blend Bunnies one because it has those fun neons. But then I thought, um, really, I'll probably just be switching around because I also like the glitters in that Fade to Hue from ColourPop. And I kind of was liking these pastels. And I think I want to do something like that since I've got these little pastel things in. So this is just the Sweet Tooth from Hank and Henry. I bought these brushes from Sheen and I haven't tried it yet. And then I pulled this one out playing with it yesterday and I don't know what I did with the rest of them. This is the only one I can find. And right now the room isn't even all that messy. So I don't know how I could have possibly lost. I need to probably check the bag that I thought was empty and make sure I didn't actually put things back in there because I have taken it out to the trash. Next, I'm going into this Pure Festival 2.0 for the same kind of color, but a little darker. I think right now I'm planning to just not use my big rhinestone stickers just because you can almost do no makeup at all um, if you're going to wear those and have it come up with a pretty cute look. And I definitely don't always wear fun makeup looks. I've definitely gone where I'm just wearing some big fun lashes because that works too. I've not done a collab with Ash before. I should be nervous <laughs> because everything they do is crazy <laughs> good. Um, I'm not sure how it works like that. And sometimes, you know, the look is supposed to be extremely ugly, like, you know, a corpse or a reindeer that's got its head bitten off. I don't know, <laughs> but whatever. It'll be great. going to use a little glitter glue. Another thing I like to do for festivals is wear fun earrings because I don't like to wear a lot of jewelry um, and rings and bracelets make me feel more hot if I'm out there being hot anyway, but earrings don't really bother me. So I have, again, some that I really don't wear anywhere around usually, except for when I go to festivals. And then I have, you know, like fun lemons or frogs or Barbie shoes or that sort of thing. I think I'm going to use the pink glitter in the ColourPop. Just prismatic here. These may not be eye safe, but I still use them around my eyes. I was so disappointed that there wasn't a glitter in every line of this. Like the green doesn't have a glitter. I would like a green glitter right now. Um, and the purple doesn't have a glitter. That made me sad. I do have a green glitter, but it's very bright green glitter. I'm not sure that I'm gonna want that brightness. So I might just use like, I have a couple whites and iridescents and silvers. This I think was from Claire's like way too long ago. Like when I had children that were young enough to shop at Claire's. It's kind of fun though, because it did kind of come with its own little jelly base glue to stick the stuff down with and you know, it works pretty decent. With a wet brush, I am just going under my under eye with a pink. Um, it's supposed to be like a neon ultraviolet. So it should be that if I would get into a black light, this line should glow. And when I have used it, it has glowed under the black light like it was supposed to. So. And this is just from the Blend Bunny palette, but it is their neon called Charged that I just kind of want to brighten it up a little. And then I'll probably blend it back down. Because <laughs> that's how I do things. I go back and forth. All right. At this point, I get to where I can't tell until I go get some eyebrows and um, lashes and the rest of my makeup on. So I'll be back. Now I have in the past worn things like glitter lipstick. Um, this little kit came with blue and purple and red and pink. Um, it's just called glitter lips. 
um, from Tattoo You. And that's very fun. But I ended up finding that I drink too much at festivals. You really need to stay rehydrated. Bring your water bottle. They always have little fill-up stations for your water. Um, this one has the UV filtering light on it. So um, it feels more purified. This one's from Crazy Caps, I think. It's the, you know, a, a UV powered by deep UV LED filtering. Okay, anyway. So that just ended up feeling messy in general. I don't feel like your makeup has to be perfect at festivals because you're going to be dancing and sweating and you're going to have some glitter, like, you know, coming out of its spots anyway. But the lipstick was just too much for me to bother with. I think these lashes are a little bit too big for me. They were the bossy lash from Moxie. But for a festival, they're fun. Or sometimes I just pick them up like some real crazy ones at around Halloween time. This set was $2 at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. So those are fun to keep around. The other things, um, I did put in these fun earrings, but I thought I'd show you some of my other ones just because they're fun. So I've got these little lemons. I got these little birds on a perch, little rainbow frogs, little Barbie shoes, and lots of other ones. Earrings, I think, fun addition and don't make me hot. Or I also have these just little butterfly clips. I also think they were a dollar or two from something if you weren't wearing the flower antlers. Or it's also very easy. Sometimes I just have a bandana day and put it back. That's also keeps you cool. Since real quick, we're talking about other things there. Um, most or several festivals, like you'd have a clear plastic bag rather than something that they can't see through. And a Go Girl or a Gotta Jet, you need this kind of thing at the festivals. A spare little thing of your own toilet paper. Sometimes they run out. Last time I got this reusable toilet paper, but I never ended up using it. But I still think that's a good idea. And a little hangy thing for chapstick. should get one with an SPF and reapply your sunblock. There should be sunblock in here. Um, as an old person... We always have it and are always ending up sharing it with the young kids who are getting sunburned out there. <laughs> and the other fun thing would be fun sunglasses. <laughs> then again, it doesn't make a big difference how fun your makeup is. And of course, I do think this would be really cute with, you know, a rhinestone in the middle of my forehead. Um, or just some of the little bitty ones running up. Maybe I'll do a couple of those for you just so you can kind of see how I just apply them with eyelash glue. Well, I will look for some other, but I wanted to show you this just because I've never seen this happen before. But this eyelash glue is clearly, um, I think, <laughs> a little dried out in there. It's coming out as a solid. Hmm. With the little rhinestones, you can do anything you want. You can put them in the middle. You can put them across your forehead. You can put them sliding up. You could do little inner corner eyelights. If I wasn't wearing such large lashes, they might be fun across your actual eyes. Since I bought the new ones that have just like a little butterfly one, I think I just, I'm going to place one little butterfly on kind of the corner. So did I say already? Good tip. Have extra eyelash glue around because I had no idea that other one was dried up. I've been using the magnetic lashes for so long now, I guess it didn't even cross my mind, that the other, when I knew it was pretty full, would go bad. You can use tweezers for this kind of thing or just place it on there. I feel like I should let that sit just a second. But... I haven't had the butterflies before. Maybe should it have been flying away from me instead of towards me? Ooh, is it wet enough to turn? Ooh, ooh, it is. Hmm. So basically for a festival look for me, I just like any skin showing to have either some glitter or some shine or some sparkle, some rhinestones. Um, even these little things, I've got several of those lotions that have like just some little like shine color to them. 
So that's fun. Good way to use them up if I didn't go in with actual glitter. <laughs> and I guess this is my finalized look for today's festival wear makeup look collab. I hope that you have enjoyed it. And mostly what I want you to take away is do whatever you want. If you want to wear no makeup at all, that's totally fine. You're going to fit in. If you just want to wear fun fake lashes and no other makeup, I've totally done that. Or if you want to go rhinestone, sparkle, rainbow, glitter, you're going to fit in fine then too. So just have fun. Wear whatever you want. Be who you ever you want to be. That's the best part about music festivals. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks.